Hi and welcome to this new tutorial on the pigeon letters. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a realistic book cover using Procreate and using your own illustrations. So for this example I've made an illustration already myself as how I think a book cover could look like if I created a book. For this illustration I've been using the gouache brushes provided by the pigeon letters. But you can use any illustration you like. I can imagine you think, what is this tutorial all about? Well, it's hard for me to tell, um, but I think I'm going to show you. So this is the illustration I just made in Procreate. And this is what we're going to end up with at the end. Like you created your own book, created your own post-it memo, and there are just a few tricks and we'll be only using Procreate and two native brushes so everybody can follow along using your own illustration. Any illustration you made could be right for it and we're going to have some fun. I show you some examples because I already created it, this as a book cover but I also created a book from our Pigeon Letters design team and that was so much fun to do and it's just a couple of minutes. If, you know, the tutorial is a little bit longer, but I have to explain everything. But once you get the hang of it, you can turn any drawing, any illustration of your own into a book to your liking. We'll be working with this example, but you can use any illustration you created of your own. Of course, I have a square illustration, but you can use a, re a rectangle and follow along, just like I did with the one here. So I hope you are just as excited as I am and let's get started! Hi, my name is Brenda Wakker. I'm an artist and teacher based in the Netherlands. I teach Procreate classes on Skillshare and my goal is to make it look like everything is created hand-drawn on actually paper. I also have my own YouTube channel. And there you can see some time lapses but also real-time tutorials. So perhaps that's something you would like to follow along to. You can also find me on Instagram. And I would love it if you would like to tag me when you created something out of this tutorial. You can tag me at DuckWebble and also tag the Pigeon Letters because we all would love to see what you created out of this tutorial. Now, let's get on with it, let's get some fun and let's get started. So remember, you can do this with any of your own illustrations. So from every illustration to a realistic book cover, and you can all do that in Procreate in just a couple of easy steps. So just say hello to the design team of this year. Hi guys, it's lovely to be a member of you all. So what did I do? I will show you in a second. This is the picture. Then we're going to create a book cover from it. And then we're going to create this whole piece, including this realistic post-it. I added some uh, confetti uh, from Pink Tree just for free. And uh, I can't share it with you, but if you go to their website, you can get any fun stuff. And make sure you create a shadow as well. So it will be looking more realistically. So let's get started. You can take your own illustration and any illustration you like. So for this one, I created this fun illustration. I created it as it was a book cover. So also with a title, also with illustration by Brenda Bakker. <laughs> That's me. And of course, I used the Procreate brushes by the Pigeon Letters. And in this case, I used the gouache because we're working with gouache in this book. Remember? Book. <laughs> so, so much fun. Um, sometimes uh, you have to make a couple of changes to your book. So, for instance, I had to place the whole painting a little bit more to the right because I want to have my fold of the book here. So, what you can do then is I've created the grey as my background. So, I select every layer on top of that everyone, each and everyone, including the sketch, because if you want to make some changes later, you can do that. And it's harder to do if you haven't got anything selected. So then you press group and now you can 
move the whole group over. So make it a little bit to the right so you can include the lines just there. So when you've done that, you're ready to go. And it's just a couple of easy steps and that's why it's so funny. So on top of this, you create a new layer, you select a monoline brush and then you just test it. Uh, it mustn't be too thick, it mustn't be too thin. Let me show you. You can create to your own liking. You see, each and every book has just this folding line. And it's where you can fold your book. So that's what we're going to create. This one is a little bit thicker. And in this book, you see it's a bit thinner. You see a dark shadow over on this side and a lighter part on that side because my light is coming from up there. When I lay this down, you can see also there is some light here. And because in most of my drawings, always my sunlight is coming from here, there will be some light up here as well. And for me, then I can create a shadow at the bottom and on the left part. This is a gorgeous book, by the way. This is also, you can see, a little bit of these lines. You can see it's darker, but you can see all the way through it. So it has to be a see-through. And this is lightened, but also see-through. So that's what we are going to do today. So of course, this is a hardcover book. So we're going to create with the mono line. It's mostly all we'll be using today, I guess. But that's just easy, so everybody can do this with every brush and any of your own illustrations. So we create a new layer on top. I created a line already. Just uh, checking if I think my line work will be thick enough. Yes, in this case it is. If you watch closely on your iPad, you can see the little squares. Mostly, well, it, it's depending on the size of my book cover. <laughs> book cover I call it book cover because it will be your book cover a girl can dream right so mostly I take uh, two two parts so it's not exactly in the part so I will be taking one and a half now so I go from top to bottom on a new layer with the color black and I draw a line no it's not a straight line but when I let it go there it snaps into a straight line and I will be adjusting with my finger. You see, then it will be totally 90 degrees angle. So let me go back and do it one more time. Go from up to down, let it snap and tap to create your 90 degrees angle. So it's already a little bit more of a book like now. <laughs> but that's not all because we have a hard shadow now and we want to create a lighting also so I'm going to duplicate this one and the one underneath I will be changing it to white so I select this layer to just select the line tap white choose fill layer and now it's already there so I'm going to move the white line a little bit more to the side because my light is coming from here and this one will be coming upwards so it would catch more light. I will be doing that with using of magnetics so I can move it but it's not going up and down. So I can move it just a little bit, just a little bit so it's side by side. I will zoom in for you so you can see it's side by side. Get a little bit more back uh, and make sure it's all the way to the top of bottom and the bottom if it's not uh, if you moved it it's no problem because with distortion you can uh, pull it longer if you need so now we've got a light a white line and a dark black line next to each other but this is not truly realistic and if you have your uh, drawing underneath just by uh, the book I just showed you you can't see through so we're going to do something with the blend modes I'll be using the blend mode overlay for the black one and I will be choosing the, 
do I use overlay as well? Well, sometimes I do a lighter color and sometimes I do screen with orange, but you can choose to your liking. So you can play with the opacity a little bit, so then it will be more realistically. So it's just a lighter gray here and you can play with that as long as you like. So uh, for the darker part, I'm going to create as well. And now I see I have a little gap in between here. You see, when I zoom in closely and that's not what I want. I want to move it a little bit more to this side again. Oh, no. I know what it was. It was because I changed the opacity. Stupid me. <laughs> Even I make mistakes. So it was because of the opacity of the dark layer, I could see the light layer underneath it. So I had to move it a little bit more. So now these ones are looking realistically. So we have to do that. Well, you think you can be uh, quite finished right now, but I want to do it also at the top side and the bottom, every, every part around it. This will be have some more lightning and this will be have some more shadow. So that's what we're going to create now. I'm going to draw two lighter lines on the outside on a new layer. I'm going all the way from the top to the bottom. And here you can see you edit your shape and you can make changes to the lines. So if it's not completely fitting, you can you do that here. So you make it to your own liking. And I create one from top to bottom as well on the right side of the book I'm always adding shape so you can just barely touch it that's correct I'm also going to set this on over uh, on screen like I did with this one and I just checking the opacity to 28 here because mostly what I did here I want to do at the same uh, opacity to there so I will change it to screen and we'll change it to 28 and you can guess it we can do that with black on these sides so I'm going to create a new layer on top of that change to black draw a line from top to bottom edit shape I would rather have you have it way uh, too too much out of the picture than that you have the original gray showing at the side. So then it will be a, a smaller side of shadow. Though that's okay. I'm going to do this with this as well. Add its shape. And I think we're done with this piece and we have to change the opacity of that as well. And what did we do with this? We put them on overlay and 39 percentage. So go to overlay and choose 39. It could be a little bit different if you don't like it because it uh, those are different angles, so you can also make that darker or lighter to your liking. Like for instance, I think these parts are too hard right now. Let me show. You can see truly, you can see those lines and I don't like that. So I'm going to my Gaussian Blur under the magic wand and the Gaussian Blur. You can see a slider here 
when you go to the right you can see the slider all the way there so you can see what it does so just take it a little bit so it's not too hard just make it like it's a little bit soft and round so in my case I think for 4% is okay so and then we're going to do that with the white as well on the outside lines and so we're going to the white layer hit the magic wand hit Gaussian blur and just make it a little bit soft and just check in my case 4% is again okay but maybe sometimes it's different this doesn't have to be precise just create to your own liking so in this case we already have the book finished <laughs> and now let's get on and create a realistic scene out of it and for that one I'm going to create a new canvas I'm going for a square 10 by 10 inch I want to add a f uh, I want to add a photo of a lovely background and I've imported that background from Unsplash for free it's free to use for you to do with it whatever you like so I will add in a picture insert a photo here I would have this photo inserted and you can see this picture is not completely fitting so what I'm going to do is create it to my own liking I can do everything with it what I want this is now not fitting so I want to make a distortion of it and I'm just going to create it's still on magnetics then it won't work <laughs> sorry for that but you can learn from my mistakes so I just drag this a little bit outside and this all the way to the bottom is it fitting right now yeah I could be a little bit going back here and just to make sure it fits every side and I don't have anything white again so now I've got a complete table where I can put my book on so I go back to this uh, book creation we just did and what I'm going to do now is a three finger swipe down three fingers copy all because I want everything I'm greedy I'm Dutch I'm greedy I want everything <laughs> copy all go to this canvas where you've created your table like Floor, wooden table in that case and I'm going to do a three finger swipe again and I select paste and now it's way too big but we can shrink it and I like it when it's just a little bit out of you know out of shape so it doesn't have to be that much static but if you leave it like this it's just a picture on a picture you can see there's no depth or anything so that's what we're going to create from that and that's just easy and I will show you how again I'm duplicating this image so I have the exact shape I'm going to the one to the bottom because that will be my shadow part I select the whole image and I'm going to fill the layer with black fill layer so this is now the exact same shape and size and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one a little bit don't do this because you will make it larger and you don't want you don't move it so let's go from there and drag it outside in the whole piece a little bit just a little bit so now you can see the book is already having some volume but I also want a little bit of shadow from the book on the table so I'm going to duplicate this one again going to the one at the bottom I'm going to do the same thing drag it a little bit more down and for that we're going to create a little bit of faded shadow with the Gaussian blur again so hit the magic wand go to Gaussian blur and mostly I will zoom in a little bit more for this one and I will use the slider which you can see here and you can play with it to wherever you find it's realistically this is too much just for me it's seven percent I think 
And suddenly, like that, you've got a realistic book. So, ain't that funny? <laughs> I think it is. I never created a real book, but now I have my own book. I can create a book for everything I draw. So, how, how much fun is that? So, and in order to make it look more realistic, I want to add a post-it memo. You, you know those yellow ones you can stick all over? So, that's what we're going to create also. And that's very easy. Take the selection tool, choose rectangle and create a square like shape. And fill it with yellow. And I think my yellow is now a little bit too bright. So you can learn from me by go to the magic wand. It's too bright. So I'm going to lower the saturation a little bit. And remember, my colors are looking differently for me than it will look for you uh, on camera. So I'm also doing a little bit of the brightness, a little less br uh, bright. So I think it's more realistic like that. And now I can do anything I like with that. So we're going to move it and we're going to play with it because now it's just a yellow square and I don't want that. So, but first, when, uh, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to write something on it. So, um, well, let's create. <laughs> so I will be writing with a fine tip and I will write. I would like to write pretty readable for you. <laughs> Of course you can use a font, but I think handwriting makes it more realistic. So that's why I choose this. So this one I will put down together. Uh, no, I won't do that. I will leave it like here uh, because maybe I want to change something. And if I merge them together, I can't. So I'm going to create a shadow underneath this, but first I'm going to place them. So I'm going to put them in a group. and make me one where do i want it i think from here a little bit so but not just exactly in the same because i think it would be too stylish and too repetitive so just a little bit out of line would make it more interesting for me i think and then i'm going to create a new shadow underneath this one by duplicating it select the bottom layer choose select and then choose fill layer. So now I've got the black one underneath this one. I'm going to um, make this a little bit of a fold. So it's coming upwards. It's curling a little bit off because it's stuck on the table. And then this part would automatically lift. Well, we have to do it ourselves here. So <laughs> in order to move this, I want to move the two of these because my lettering, I want to have it moved with me. So I'm going to group this again and I'm going to move the whole paper just because when my paper is bending and my text will be flat, it won't, it will be a misfit. So that's why I'm choosing to move the whole group and I'm doing it with a warp just a little bit and maybe with an advanced mesh, I can drag it a little bit in here as well so I could give it a little bit of a curling image just a little bit and now you can see the black line isn't totally matching this that's okay I can move this separately I'm going to make it a softer shadow first I'm going to do a Gaussian blur Again, create a softer shadow, see what you like. I think this part is okay. And now I can move it because you see, I can see a little bit of shadow there as well. So go to uniform again, move this a little bit here. 
it's okay if you can see a little bit there because then it will tell us would tell your eyes and your mind it's a little bit off of the table so that's okay but not too much and it's already looking realistic here and we can move the whole group now because we can play with it if we let it come a little bit just a little bit on top of the book so you would get more of dimension and more feeling of depth and sometimes you can think, well, my shadow now is a little bit too dark because I want to see a little bit of the book as well. Then you can lower the opacity of this. Uh, just a little bit. So you can see, you can truly see the shadow on there, but you can also see the whole book. So I think this is lovely. So it's just a fun and short tutorial of something funny and maybe visualizing this will get you there at least i hope for me i can in the future <laughs> one day one day be an illustrator of a real book and so here we have our own realistic book with a post-it memo and uh, i hope you liked it